Hi, welcome. My name is W.A. I haven't done one of these unboxings in a long time. I think it's been maybe over a year. So today I have the December 2022 Sketchbox box. I like the art. I've already opened this beforehand. Just so you know. For December, we have, I have, we have um, Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor Dot Chart, Dark Card. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 colors. Um, Daniel Smith partnered, or Sketchbox partnered with Daniel Smith. Cool. Sketchbox exclusive Rembrandt hot pressed 140 pounds 10 sheets hmm. I've always wanted to try Rembrandt watercolor though I will admit I prefer cold press but okay I can work with that Oh, yes, I read that Sketchbox was partnering with Qpixel. Um, they have this new technology where you can trace an image from your phone onto your paper. Uh, if you've never heard of Qpixel, maybe check them out. I think it's pretty cool. I haven't tried them yet. But I watched the tutorials that they have um, for your sketchbox. I like that. Ooh. I think this, yeah. Uh, uh, 56 Minor does the videos for sketchbox. That's pretty cool. And, okay, let's put that away for now. King Art Fine Liner Pens, 12. 12 vivid colors, 0.4 mm line. It says it's water based but waterproof. That's obviously like a conundrum to me. I haven't tested it. I haven't tested anything out. I've just looked at this stuff last night. Okay. So the pens have a number, but no color name. That's okay for me, but I know people who are colorblind who might not appreciate that too much. Holbein Acrylic Gouache in Light Green, Jean Brilliant, and Magenta. I brought out my other acrylic gouache just for this. I remember getting this in a palette packs box maybe three years ago, maybe four. They are the same. Cool. I've never really used this before because I felt it was too limited of a color palette. Uh, you can mix from here, but I would rather not. <laughs> a sticker. Uh, oh, a Princeton Select Pointed Filbert. I've never seen one of these before. It's really pointy. And that's it. Okay. 
I think uh, this is supposed to be a mixed media box. I will be honest and tell you that I have not really worked with mixed media before. I'm not really keen on mixing different mediums together. I, I guess I haven't really been inspired to do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> and use the Qpixel, Qpixel um, app to trace something and I'll be back. Quickly, before doing that, I want to swatch my supplies first. Start with the pens. I will be letting these dry and <clears throat> then check for waterproofness. I don't know what, what order should I swatch them on? Waterproofness, is that a word? After letting them dry, I'm going to run a wet brush and see if they truly are waterproof as they claim. Am I too far away from the camera? I'll zoom in after. I've never had colored fine liners before. I'm excited about this. I have palette paper for the acrylics. Also, I'm going to be using a different water cup for the acrylics than my than what I use for watercolors only because I don't feel comfortable tossing acrylic tainted water down my sink. So, I'll figure that out. I haven't worked with acrylics in a long time. I know it says acrylic gouache, but acrylic gouache is just um, a matte acrylic paint. That's what I believe anyway. You know... <laughs> Seeing this big dollop of paint, I just remembered acrylic paint dries out. <laughs> and unlike watercolor, you cannot rewet it again. I'm trying to be more conservative more conservative conservative. The 
This brush feels too precious to be used with acrylics. Okay. Let me just wet the brush. Clean it off. Oh, look at that. Can you can you see that? Wow. I don't think I've ever had a brush that pointy before. Oh. I'll be back. I'm going to write the info down. Jean Brilliant. Jean Brilliant. Excuse my French. I haven't practiced it since high school. Oh, I like this brush. I have Jean Brilliant in my regular Holbein watercolor set and on my Sakura Koi palette as well. I usually like it for muted purples. Put that aside for now. Yikes, was that too loud? Okay, um, let me pull my sleeve up. Um, Hansa Yellow White. I should go this way or this way. Hmm. Lemon yellow. It's gonna go down. New gamboge. Transparent Pyrrole Orange Permanent Alizarin Crimson 
I've had this color, this tube on my cart for a while. Kunakritone magenta. I've heard people um, talk about making art from dot cards like this. Uh, I don't think I've ever used a dot card to make artwork before. When I saw it in the box, I, at first I was like, whoa. <laughs> Uh, not too sure about that, but after seeing the demos on Qpixel, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that you can just pretend this is your palette, ignore that it's on the paper, and make your artwork. I don't know why I thought, I don't, I, I don't know what I thought making art from a dot card was. Sorry, that was Opera Pink. Rose of Ultramarine. Cerulean Blue. Ultramarine blue. Mayan dark blue. Thalo green blue shade. Permanent green light. Go on this side here. German greenish raw umber. I remember the first time I swatched this color. I really liked it and wanted to buy it. Never did. <laughs> German greenish raw umber. It reminds me of the White Knight's umber, which I really like as well. English Red Ochre. Now I'm going to try Qpixel and I'll be back. If you don't know what to draw, what artwork to make, a Sketchbox has a monthly prompt and this month's prompt is Dream. Oops. Okay, so I'm back from the Qpixel app where there are a few lessons, maybe four or five lessons, of uh, different people teaching you different sketches to use different art supplies with. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that, I'm sorry. Um, there are two ladies on the app that partnered up with Sketchbox and they have a few lessons that you can follow um, using watercolors or using the gouache a uh, few of them using mixed media. 
uh, I just I decided to trace this rose. The I'm sorry, I can't really. My brain isn't really connected with the rest of me right now. Do over. I was watching the tutorial for a watercolor rose from one of the ladies at at, at the QPixel app. She did this in watercolor, but I am going to do it mixed media. Also, this is the result of the new tracing technology they have on their app. It's really cool if you haven't checked that out. Basically, basically, you can download, upload a picture to the app or use one of the pictures that they have included and you'll see the outline of the picture through your phone's camera and you'll be pointing it down at your paper, at your surface. You can adjust the width, the length to fit your working surface and through the camera on your phone you just trace it down on the paper so you'll be tracing it down but you'll be following the lines on your screen it's really cool but uh, i did get messy lines i think it was a good first try i'm not mad i just want to erase the lines a little bit with my kneaded eraser So my plan for this is first layer in watercolor, then with a gouache, and then outline everything with the fine liners. Like I said, I've never really worked with mixed media. This is going to be a first time. I need a palette for the watercolors. One moment. I have this little plastic palette with six wells. Can you see everything in my own frame? Probably not. Okay. Oh, I did. I did um run a wet brush through the fine liners and they are not waterproof. Sorry King Art, but made of water-based ink that dries quickly to prevent smudging. Oh, I misread that as being waterproof. <laughs> My bad. I was wrong. I misread. Gonna start with the flower. Add a little water to my palette. Let's make the flower. We have magenta. Let's do the opera pink. going to be adding new gamboge to the top petals right here light green let's go with green light
This is more loose, a bit more messy than what I'm used to working. But that's fine. I've never used the supplies before. I usually like having my line work already detailed and done. And this brush. I'm not used to working with this brush. Not complaining, just making a f stating a fact. For the flower stems, I am going to mix my, I am going to mix opera pink with the green to make an olive tone green. Like that. For the stems, I will be using greenish raw umber as well as with the leaves. I am not finding my way with this brush. Thalo green Oops <laughs> Either I am too sick right now to be making art or I don't know what's happening it's just not Things are not are not working right now. Have you ever had one of those days where just things don't work? I need to go back to back to sleep and wake up again. Maybe I should have waited until I'm not sick, but I was excited to try all this new supplies. Okay, I uh, will let that dry and go in with the acrylic gouache. The acrylic gouache is starting to dry on the palette. Um,
for the first time using mixed media. Uh, I like it. What do you think? I'm not sure about the app. I like the idea of it. Maybe with more practice, I can get my lines more even and less wobbly. Or I can, you know, <laughs> do the wobbly trace and then go over it with um, waterproof ink liner and do my regular book that way. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, Sketchbox, for introducing us to... Pixel. I never would have tried it before had it, not, had it not been for this box. If you have Sketchbox and you've done your artwork, I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram at Canadian underscore B-A-C-O, Canadian underscore Baco. Okay, well, thank you for joining me and putting up with my cold self. I have a cold. And thank you for joining me in today's art session. I think it's going to be a long one. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite art supply from this month was. Tell me if you like the Qpixel app, if you've used it before. Until next time, bye.